Konnichiwa. Hey y'all, this is James Hewley, aka the Asian Persuasion, aka the Asian Sensation, aka Asian James, aka Asian Jim, aka the Bruce Lee of Beer Pong, aka the Jackie Chan of Hunting, aka so smooth I fall asleep at the wheel and crash the tractor. And you might remember me from season 17 and 18 of Big Brother. And here I am again. I am auditioning for a new reality show. I've been watching this show on Netflix for about three seasons now. They have gone through various places. And I would love to be a part of the next season. And the show that I'm talking about is Terrace House. You guys may have seen it on Netflix. It is a Japanese reality show. And as the hosts say at the beginning, there's six people, three boys, three girls. All there is is a beautiful house and two cars and no script. So it's kind of like the Big Brother experience, but in Japan. And I would love to be a part of that. And, you know, I want to take the next few minutes to explain why I want to be a part of Terrace House 2019 Fucka Waka Kyushu Japan. So, I mean, you've seen my Big Brother audition video, and I think I want the flavor of this audition video to be kind of similar. Because, what can I bring to the Terrace House? Well, I can bring all kinds of craziness and and I can add to just the flavor and the identity of the household. So, I mean, like, when I was growing up, you know, all the places and the apartments that I've lived in and, like, the roommates that I've had, like, there's been all kinds of drama, like, people trying to sleep with each other's significant others and whatnot. So, I mean, it, we should have had cameras in there. I mean, it was wild. And, you know, all of the crazy things that I talked about doing, like, in my previous apartments, like, I feel like I lived up to that when I was on Big Brother. And I want to add that flavor onto Terrace House, because if there's one thing that I've noticed about the Japanese, it's that, for some reason, especially with the boys, they are, they have not been taught, like, like me you know, a country boy and a southern gentleman, how to approach a lady. They, they have no idea on how to talk to a woman, how to ask them on a date. They're all shy. Like, it's no wonder their birth rates are so low. So, I want to help increase the Japanese birth rate. You know, I want to, you know, meet with these women, talk to them, romance them, give them an experience they've never had before from a country boy from the United States. You can see I'm representing the stars and stripes right here on my hat. So I want to bring a little bit of Wichita Falls, Texas and a little bit of South Carolina to Fukuoka, Kyushu, Japan. And in addition to the flavor that I bring, you know, well, actually, there's one more note I wanted to add on that. Um, I, I have to mention that I am the Asian hillbilly and I mean, I'm the only one that's like me. Like, trust me, I, I've tried looking all around the country. I've tried looking on Facebook. You know, I've tried looking on people's photo buckets, <laughs> photo bucket accounts, and I cannot find any other Asian people that are hillbillies. So, I mean, if you find someone else that is an Asian hillbilly that is auditioning for this show, then I would love to know about it. And, in fact, I think you should choose him because, you know, I've looked so hard for someone like me you know, an Asian hillbilly, and I've not found one yet. And, you know, with that in mind, you know, I, I want to represent diversity. You know, I want to bring a new sort of Asian face onto Japanese TV and to the global audience members that are watching this Japanese TV. So, you know, I want Japanese people to see that there are Asian hillbillies in addition to all of these other Japanese people that have their you know, really pretty haircuts, and they're really tight clothes, so, you know, I want to show that I like my clothes a little bit baggier, you know, I like my hats to have, you know, stars and stripes on them, because I'm representing the United States, and, you know, maybe while I'm there, I can get some payback for Pearl Harbor, if you know what I mean. Anyway, that's an old American joke. Anyway, so, beyond that, um, uh, aside from the flair that I could bring to the house, I mean, Japan is such a, a rich cultural treasure trove. 
and I would love to experience things like uh, the ramen noodles. I mean, I, I love the instant chicken ramen noodles from uh, Maru-chan, and I think that I, I would love to have the authentic version of that with the pork. And uh, I would also love to have sushi. Um, I, I love California rolls, and I love spider rolls, but I've, I've never had authentic uh, sashimi before. So I would love to give that a try. I mean, I'm a little skeptical about the raw things, but you know, I hear things are pretty clean in Japan, so I'll trust you guys on that. And I would also love to try other Asian foods, like authentic versions of the ones that I had. Um, like I had egg foo young and egg rolls and spring rolls and I mean I had the American restaurant version of those things and I would love to have an authentic egg roll or an authentic egg foo young in Japan that would be absolutely amazing and if I think about other things that interest me about Japan culturally um, I, I recently played uh, that Yakuza game uh, Kiwami 2 came out a couple months ago on the PlayStation 4 and there there's an activity you can do as the protagonist and it, you go to a hostess club and now they don't have anything like this in the states but uh, what it is is uh, gentlemen get dressed up in fancy clothes and then you've got um, women dressed in their in their Sunday best like cocktail dresses and whatnot and they're pouring you fancy drinks and they're giving you fancy conversation and since you're a paying customer you can you know put your hand on their arm or on their shoulder and they can't say a thing because as a paying customer the customer is always right so I would love to give that a try I would love to try a slice of some of that Japanese culture right there and what else would I like to try I would love to try capsule hotels what else would I love to try I would also love to go to the Foxconn factory. I mean, I love iPhones. I mean, you can see, like, at the beginning of the video when I was just r reminding myself of these Japanese words. I mean, by the way, Japanese is a very tough language. I had to look at these notes for about an hour to say the words that I've said so far in Japanese. It's a very difficult language. Anyway, so, um... I, I would love to go to the Foxconn factory and see where iPhones are made. That would be absolutely amazing. In fact, I, I would love to see uh, I would love to see the N Nintendo factory because I hear they have Nintendos that have not been released in the United States and they have things that are basically from the future. So I would love to see that and I would love to get a feel for how futuristic Japan is and. Oh, and I would also love to try the toilets with all the buttons on it. I mean, I love just relaxing on the toilet. And, you know, I would love to push those buttons, you know, get a feel for the bidet. Or maybe the, the drying function. So that all seems very nice about Japanese society. And, you know, I, I, I guess at the end of the day, uh, you know, my Asian flair th that I bring to the household and the sort of romance and chivalry I can bring to the ladies of not only the Terrace House, but of Japan. I would love to expose them to an Asian hillbilly. Like, they've never seen anything like this before, baby. You can, t you can trust on that. Mmm, from the rooter to the tutor. You know that for sure. Anyway, so... What I can say is... I really hope that... I can experience Japanese culture, I can experience the futons, and I can experience the, the sushi. I can do all that, I can make new friends in Japan, I can represent for America the stars and stripes, and I don't know Japanese, but I can learn along the way. I mean, I know the people in Japan learn English in like middle school and high school, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I want to add to the cultural exchange of Terrace House, and I hope that you guys will let me on. So, once again, this is Asian James, aka Asian Sensation, aka The Asian Persuasion, aka Asian Jim, aka Asian, Asian James, aka Chinese Jim, aka The Bruce Lee of Beer Pong, aka The Jackie Chan of Hunting, 
And AKA, so smooth, I fall asleep at the wheel and crash the tractor. And so, I want to be on Terra's house 2019, fuck a waka, Kyushu, Japan. You'll be seeing me on Netflix soon. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.